today has been great. Uh, we love uh, the festival. We came here last year as patrons, and we wanted to share a little bit of love with uh, some of the recipes from New Orleans. Rockland, home of the Maine Lobster Festival. The day started with remarks by festival director Shannon Kenny, who announced a newly formed partnership between the festival and the Maine Lobstermen's Community Alliance, as well as the Maine Lobstermen's Association. That partnership, putting a strong focus on the Save Maine Lobstermen campaign during this year's festivities. We also know and reflect that art and food and music and communities are all also touched by the Maine lobstering industry. The festival, serving as a reflection of what the lobstering industry means for the state of Maine, drawing people from as far as Michigan. Uh -huh. Having a great time. Eating lots of lobster. Oklahoma. It's fun. The food's yeah. great and the weather's even better. And New Orleans. Certainly love the weather. Uh, we love the people. Uh, like seeing all the dogs all around, <laughs> and the kids, and, uh, and really the old folks. It, it makes us happy. A big draw here is the world's biggest lobster cooker. Eight cookers steam the lobsters to perfection and dish out thousands of pounds of fresh Maine lobster. While I was here, I wanted to interview the ones who have this whole festival named after them. Uh, unfortunately, I ran into some traffic and I, I got here a little late. Nevertheless, the lobsters are more than just delicious seafood. They fuel an industry that is both vital to Maine's economy and brings together loved ones and strangers. In Rockland, Doug Banks, ABC7 and Fox 22 News.